How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Sunday, uh, February the 7th. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. So, and, uh, and so today we're going to be, uh, taking a look at John chapter 13 through 15, which I am very, very excited. I hope, I hope you guys are doing well. I ain't got no announcements, so, um, oh. Actually, I do have an announcement. Uh, if you want to have a copy of my ebook, um, you can uh, either uh, comment down below your email address, and I'll happily give it to you. Uh, if not, <clears throat> if you if you're you know, super private about your email, you can. Uh, well, I'm gonna be posting the link down below of my uh, Instagram account. And you can PM me there and uh, ask me, uh, just to send me your email address and I'll send it to you ASAP. So, that's all taken care of. Let's go ahead and pray first. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, Father, we ask that you would come and, and change our hearts, change our minds. Lord, I pray that let, uh, let your word never turn void. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity, Lord, to repent of our sins and to confess our sins unto you, Lord, and uh, wash us clean by your blood. And uh, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go ahead and read. John, th John chapter 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Scarlet, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all the all things into his hand, and and that he had come from God, and was going back to, to God raised from supper. He lay aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe, wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. <clears throat> he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter says to him, You... Shall I never wash my feet? Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter, uh, Simon Peter says to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus says to him, The one who had bathed does not, does not need to wash except for his feet. But is completely clean, and you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, "Not all of you are clean." When he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he says to them, "Do you understand what I have done to you?" You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for I'm for so am I. If then so if I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you all, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I given you an example that you also shall should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than 
the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I lift his heel against me. Wait. Oh, sorry. I was going to skip a line. I know whom I have cho chosen, but the, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I am telling you this now, before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe that I, that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever received the one I sent received me, and whoever received me received the one who sent me. After saying these things, Jesus was troubled in his spirit and testified, Truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another unconditionally of whom he spoken one of his one of his disciples whom Jesus loved was recommending at table at Jesus side so so Simon Peter mentioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking so that disciple leaning back against Jesus saying to him Lord who is it Jesus answered, It is he to whom I will give this mole of bread when I have dropped it. So when he had dropped the mole, he gave it to Judas, the son of, of Simon Iscariot. Then after he had taken the, the, the mole, Satan entered into, his, uh, Satan entered into him. He says to him, What are you going to do to do do quickly? Now one now no one at the table knew why he said to this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the money bag, Jesus was telling him, Buy what you buy what we need for the feast, or that he should go, uh, give someone to the poor. So after receiving the mall of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus says, Now it is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and, him, and glorify at so I glorify him at once. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. You, sh you will seek me just as I said to the Jews. So now I also say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter says to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus says to him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will after. Uh, but you will follow afterward. Peter says to him, Lord, why can I not come to, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly I say to you, the rooster will, will not crow until you deny me three times. So chapter thirteen is pretty interesting. We see that Jesus washed the, the disciples' feet, and and after that, uh, Jesus knew someone would betray him, and and Jesus gave a new commandment that <clears throat> that uh, 
that you love one another as Christ loves you. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples. Okay? Love is very, very important. And Jesus prophesied to Peter that he would deny him three times. And uh, it's evident, you know, it happens. Chapter 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, where I am you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas says to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus says to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you have knew, sorry, if you have known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip says to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. And Jesus says to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has, a, has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I have, the words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does His work. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the work that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, in this I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you if you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Key word. Key phrase right there. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with it, who, who dwell, uh, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keep them, he is, he, it is who loved me. And he, he, and he who loved me will be loved by my Father, and I will, I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not scarlet, says to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will, will love him. And we will come to him 
and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my word, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent me, was the, whom the Father was sent in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives you, uh, sorry, uh, not as the world gives to, uh, do, I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me said to you, I am going away. And I will come to you. If you love me, you would have re rejoice, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so, so that when it does take place you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim of me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Raise, let us go from here. That's the end of chapter 14. I don't know if you can see the Trinity over this. You know, I always say that Jesus is the only way to heaven because he's the only because because he is the only one that can go to the Father. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You know. Uh, and understandably that you know we got to hold on to that promise and that in verse 15 it says if you love me you will keep my commandments this is this is very very crucial if you're going to be his disciples is that if you truly love him we all must keep his commandments and what are those commandments that you ask? Well, from Genesis to Revelation, that is God's constitution that we must keep in order for us to remain in Christ. I like in verse 21. Whoever has my commandments and keep them, he is in he he is whom I love. So who love me, and he who love me will be loved by my Father, and and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Okay, it's pretty interesting. Is that Jesus promised about the Holy Spirit that he would teach us in all things and bring your remembrance that I that Jesus has taught us. So. We're going to be getting into some more detail here. Let's go ahead and read chapter 15, the last chapter of this sermon. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch is, uh, so every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless kindled to you. Sorry, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you. Unless you abide in me. 
I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abide in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a bush, like a branch in withers. And the and the and the <clears throat> branches gathered, gathered are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever whatever you wish. It will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so prove to be my my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for, for his friend. You... Uh, you are my friends. If you do what I command you, no longer do I call you servant, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. So that, so for that, I have here my father. I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit shall abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I have commanded you, so that you will love one another. If the world hates you, know that it is hated me before it hates you. If you were on the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I, that I said to you. A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. If I if they kept my word, uh, they will also keep yours. But but all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. Amen. If I had not come and say to to them. They would not have been guilty of sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. But the word that is written in, the, in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. But when the helper comes, when I was sent to you from, from the father, the spirit of truth who proceeds from the father, he will bear witness about me and you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning that's the end of chapter 15 see we got we got to understand that we got to abide in the Lord Jesus Christ if you if you're gonna bear much fruit you got to abide in the vine which is Jesus Christ and that in order for us to bear fruit, we also got to keep his word, 
to abide in his word, to abide in him. Uh, and, and understandingly, that the Father may be glorified because we bear much fruit. And that, and that Jesus says that this is my commandment that you love one another as I loved you. This is very, very crucial. Very, very crucial. Lastly, it talks about the, hate, the hatred of this world. We're all being hated by this world because we serve the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how bad the world gets, we're, all, we're, we're always going to be hated. It is by Jesus Christ that we survived this long. And I'm sad that many Christians around the world are being persecuted because of their faith. And yet they don't they don't reject Christ at all because he loved them to the point point of death. So yeah, it is very, very crucial that we should be abiding in Christ and His Word. So, I know this is kind of a short message here, but it's just very, very crucial that you meditate on John chapter 15, because John chapter 15 has a lot of nuggets that I want you guys to figure out. Because, understand that the Holy Spirit is the one who gives us revelation of the Word of God. And understanding how the Word, how, 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 how to apply the Word into our lives. So, I thank you guys for watching. May God bless you. And I'll see you guys again next time.